Good morning, Calvary. Thank you for joining me for your word for the day as we continue to prepare our hearts for the celebration of Easter. Today's passage focuses on Jesus' interaction with Pontius Pilate in John 18 and 19. The Jewish religious leaders arrested Jesus, but their ultimate goal wasn't just to get Jesus off the streets. They didn't only want to stop his preaching and his miracles, they wanted him dead. And in order for this to happen, they needed the Roman leader, Pilate, to sentence Jesus to death. So they delivered Jesus to Pilate so Pilate could judge him and condemn him to die. But the religious leaders didn't provide any real accusation. Pilate had no idea why Jesus should be punished. So Jesus and Pilate had a conversation. And then Pilate declared, I find no guilt in him. The Jewish leaders insisted that Jesus be punished. So Pilate has him flogged. And this is when the Roman soldiers mock Jesus with the crown of thorns and a purple robe. And again, Pilate declares, I find no guilt in him. But as the religious leaders look at the beaten and bloody Jesus, they demand that he be crucified. And Pilate responded this way. He said, take him yourselves and crucify him for I find no guilt in him. The Jewish leaders press harder for his crucifixion. And even though Pilate sought to release Jesus, the religious leaders exerted political pressure on Pilate and he caved in. Pilate sentenced an innocent man to be killed. I hope that you'll take the time to read all the account from John 18 and 19. But for now, I want to highlight this central truth. Jesus was not guilty. There was no legal reason for him to die. He was completely righteous. Pilate even declared it three times. And not only was Jesus found innocent by a human judge, but God declares that he was sinless as well. In 1 John 3, 5, it says, you know that he appeared in order to take away sin and in him there was no sin. So as you enter into your time of Easter celebration, Remember the purity of Jesus' sacrifice. He was treated unjustly so that we could be declared justified. And I hope that it encourages you today, and I hope that it leads you to worship our wonderful Savior. Have a blessed day.